Yesterday, we showed you this remarkable scene. A policeman in a supposedly civilized country busting into an Easter service and attempting to close it down, uh, which was, in fact, an illegal act by those coppers. In this case, the mass ranks of the constabulary didn't measure up to one determined pastor, and he cast them out of his church. That preacher joins us now, Arthur Palowski. Uh, pastor, it is great to see you. You're joining us from Calgary, where those nice Canadian police uh, suddenly invaded, and you, you basically, through the sheer force of your personality, threw them out of the uh, temple, and it was a wonderful thing to see those guys uh, retreating down the stairs. What's interesting is uh, you grew up behind the Iron Curtain, and what happened to you uh, over Easter is exactly, I take it, why you didn't want to stay behind the Iron Curtain. That's exactly, sir. Thank you so much for having me. I grew up under communist dictatorship behind the Iron Curtain, under the boot of the Soviets. And I'm telling you, that's no fun at all. Um, mm. It was a disaster. Uh, police officers could break into your house five in the morning. They could beat you up, torture. They could arrest you for no matter what reason they would come up with. There was a famous saying in Poland when I was growing up by the police, Give me a man and we will find something on that man. So it was like a black, uh, you know, flashback when those police officers showed up at my church. Everything kind of came back to life from my childhood. And the only thing I could do is to fend off the wolves as a shepherd. And I used my voice to get rid of them. They were illegally uh, encroaching on our rights during the most holy days, during the Passover celebration. Uh, how dare they, uh, the audacity of those people coming. It was a shocking thing. I was a little bit shaken, uh, but I did what every shepherd right now on the planet Earth should be doing, fend off the wolves. We as lions should never bow before the hyenas, and that's what they are right now. Well, the hyenas are fairly confident in their powers, and a lot of the things that have become accepted in the last year, uh, for example, New York police uh, kicking a woman to the ground because she's not wearing a mask, uh, governors of American states and Canadian provinces telling you whether you're allowed to have your granny uh, or your aunt over for Christmas or Thanksgiving. I mean, that is the kind of tight 24-7 uh, control that that most communist countries lived under for half a century from the end of the Second World War. Is it all beginning to look worryingly familiar to you, the way people accept it? Yes, it is. I have been warning Canadians for the past 16 years that uh, that's what's coming. I could smell it. I could see it at every corner. The implementation of what we are seeing now, it, was, it started way, way uh, about 20 years ago. So uh, growing up under communist dictatorship, I mean, that's a disaster, that's hell on earth, and I see it already in our Western democracies. So the only way um, I know how to fight them is 1981 that I witnessed millions of Poles taking to the streets and saying to them, no more, get out of our country, get out, stop. Millions of Poles took it to the streets during mm -hmm. solidarity, like Valenza, and they want their freedom. Right now, if you want your freedom back, because we have to remember, history is teaching us that those people will never give up their new uh, gained powers. You got to right. demand those rights back. You have to fight for your rights. They'll never give it back to you freely. So how to do it? Get them out of your properties, out of your businesses, out of your churches. Open up. Open the churches. Clergymen should unite and start pushing this darkness away. And we should come and take to the streets and say no more lockdowns, no more restrictions. We will not put up with this anymore. We are fighting back. Well, thank you. Thank you for that, Pastor. That is uh, very inspiring. I would love to see a Lech Wałęsa 1981-sized demonstration on the streets of a Western city. It would be very heartening. 